If I were to introduce myself as an athlete, which happens, you know, all the time, like at least once, uh, never, the natural question following that introduction would be, what kind of athlete are you? Unfortunately, when I introduce myself as a speaker and when speakers introduce themselves as that type of professional, there's not a follow-up question and not all speaking is made the same. Today, we're going to talk about the 3.5 methods or strategies on speaking because, again, not all speaking is made the same. There are different approaches, different viewpoints, and different goals for every type of speaking, just like there's different viewpoints, different goals, different strategies for every type of athletic activity. The very first type of speaking is teaching. Now, teaching isn't just something that anybody can do. Keep in mind that teaching isn't just transferring information. It is appealing to all learners and delivering information in a way that accesses the parts of an audience's brains that truly impacts their learning. Transferring information isn't as easy as just saying the information. If it were that easy, then honestly, we would probably know a whole lot more. Teaching, real teaching, effective teaching requires you to understand how the brain processes information and how you can deliver that information in a way that sticks. The second type of speaking is motivating. This is where you get your inspirational speeches, your motivational speakers, something that gives us that energy, that boost, that enthusiasm to go out and accomplish all of the goals that we hope to accomplish. However, just like teaching, motivating and storytelling is an art form that requires a lot of preparation, rehearsal, and revision. Yes, anybody can tell a story, and yes, anyone should tell their story. However, storytelling is a science, and there are specific strategies that you can use to, again, appeal to your audience so that the story sticks and the message lands. Finally, there is disruptive speaking. Disruptive speaking is saying something that may or may not be controversial. It is literally trying to engage the audience in a brand new idea, something that they hadn't thought of that might dysregulate their normal status quo. I think by now you figured it out that this type of speaking also requires a great deal of preparation, rehearsal, and revision especially when you are speaking about something controversial or something that's gonna shake up the status quo of an audience, it takes delicate care and really precise organization to be able to communicate how this new idea is better than their old idea. Finally, I mentioned the point five of speaking strategies. The last half of a speaking strategy is coaching. And coaching can be involved or a part of any one of the three previously mentioned speaking styles. Coaching is guiding an individual down a particular path and training them in the idea that you have come to speak about. And you guessed it, coaching requires a great deal of preparation, of science, of awareness, and of connection and listening to the individual and to your audiences as a whole. Whether you're a professional speaker, an aspiring speaker, or speaking is a part of your everyday workday, it's important that before you get in front of an audience that you identify what type of speaking am I doing because that's going to determine the best activities, the best approaches, the best engagement strategies, and the best way to land a message with your audience. As always, don't forget to hit subscribe and get up-to-date information on all things confidence, communication, storytelling, Enneagram, and emotional intelligence. Until next time, make sure that you come off a of mute and speak up your story. See you soon.